Hey, Carol! How long are you going to be so stubborn? You haven't been home for a week! Where the hell are you? Huh? What are you saying? Like I keep saying, how long are you going to be so unreasonable and stay away from home? You leave your husband all alone for a week, no doing the household work or cooking. What's up? When I get home from work, there's no dinner prepared. The bed's not even made up. The laundry's not done. You haven't taken out the trash. The dishes are piling up in the sink. I'm going crazy here. Because of you, all I eat is instant noodles and fast food crap. After showering, there are no clean towels because you're not doing the wash. I mean, the whole house is full of dust, and there's trash all over the place. And my shirt's all wrinkled. Because of your laziness, I'm going through hell. You know that? I can't believe you would treat your husband this way. Don't you feel any remorse? Are you being serious? Is this a joke? Not coming home, not doing the laundry? Brian, you're the one who kicked me out, remember? As I recall, you're the one who cheated on me with that girl half your age. You said you were gonna dump me and live with her. Don't tell me you forgot all that. That doesn't absolve you from doing the housework! Cleaning, laundry, and cooking, that's all your job! You're completely weaseling out of your responsibilities! Wait a sec. You did say never to come back home again. I never want to see your face again, is what you said. I remember it as clear as day. I can't even get into the house. How the hell am I supposed to do the house chores? That's your problem! You should figure it out! You're the housewife, not me! Don't blame it on not being able to get in the house! Uh, you did take my house key. Or should I have broken in? How could I do the housework if I can't get in? You're really talking nonsense. Are you okay? Maybe you should see a doctor. Just because you want to weasel out of your duties as a housewife, DON'T TRY AND PULL A FAST ONE ON ME! Anyways, get over here right away and start doing some work for a change! First off, start cleaning up this pigsty! Oh yeah, and second, do the laundry! I don't have any clean clothes left! Get everything done by the time I get home! Got that? Not a chance. Why would I even do that? You're my wife, for God's sake! A wife's responsibility is to her husband! She must do everything he asks! Don't you even know that? I really can't believe you would neglect your duties to your husband! Besides, where the hell are you? Don't tell me you're at some guy's house! If you're two-timing me, I'll never forgive you! Who are you talking about here? Don't put me in the same category as you. FYI, I'm with my folks. I explained the whole situation to them and they told me to come home. I'm not planning to stay for long, but for now. How old are you? Still relying on your folks? Sheesh. I always thought your parents spoiled you. That's why you turned out to be such an irresponsible housewife who can't even do simple house chores! Huh? You really should see a shrink. What? I can't believe this is how you turned out. I thought your folks were such good people. Why did you turn out to be such a jerk? Maybe I was wrong about them. Don't you go criticizing my folks! Ignoring your own faults and blaming my folks! Unbelievable! I should have recorded what you just said and played it back for you. Besides, I wasn't bad-mouthing your folks. It was you I was trashing. You keep saying to do the housework, but... You say the place is a pigsty. You have no clean clothes, no food. Do it yourself, why don't you? You've been living for 30 years. Don't tell me you can't cook or clean at all. Before we got married, you lived alone. How the hell did you survive? I mean, what were you eating all those years before we married? You always change the subject like that. All that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. You keep this up and... I've got plans myself! Oh, yeah? What plans? I bet you. It's a plan dreamed up by a two-timing jerk with a warped mind. I would love to hear that plan. SHUT THE HELL UP!
You never cease to shut your trap! Don't think you can go on being so defensive and condescending toward me! Listen up, and listen closely! I'm going to send you the divorce papers! Take a good look at it when it arrives, and think long and hard about your disobedience! And do a little soul searching! It will do you good. Oh, okay, I get it! No sweat! Be on the lookout for it! I'll take a long, hard look at it, and do a bit of navel-gazing! Answer me! What's taking so long? Do the house chores! It's been a month! How long do you intend to leave the cleaning and cooking to me? Huh? We've been divorced for a while now. Huh? What? What are you babbling on about? Forget all that! Just get home and start cleaning and cooking for God's sake! Okay, my turn. What are you blabbing on about? As I said, we're already divorced. Those papers you sent? I signed and sent them in. They've been approved. We're no longer related. Strangers. Got it? So what? What's that got to do with anything? Divorce and house chores are two different things. Stop giving me the runaround! Get back here and start cleaning! The whole house stinks to high heaven! I can't stand it! Huh? Are you nuts? I really do think you need a shrink. Once again, we're divorced. We're not husband and wife. We're total strangers. Get that through your thick skull. And once again, that and house cleaning, cooking, and all that, it's a separate matter. Even if we were officially divorced, being husband and wife will never change. For the last month, you just shirked your household duties and had fun. This is criminal. I really don't understand what you're saying. Okay. Let me get this straight. We're divorced, but I'm still your wife. How does that work exactly? This is how I see it. Divorce means no longer a wife and no longer a husband. Pretty simple, in my honest opinion. Divorce also means I have no obligation to clean or cook for you. Can you not even understand that? But you still want to remain my wife, right? Huh? When I told you to leave, you left without complaining. Even now, I lied to you and you answered me right away. In the back of your mind, you still feel you're my wife, right? It's because you still love me, right? I know you can be quite stubborn, but since I'm such a nice guy, I'll forgive you. So, get back here immediately and start cleaning. Oh yeah, for tonight's dinner, I'm in the mood for some beef stew. I really have no idea what you're talking about. Are you okay? Maybe you need more than a shrink. Maybe you should be institutionalized. I can call them for you if you want. Admit it! You still love me! You apologize and all will be forgiven! So, what I'm saying is... GET BACK HERE! I signed those divorce papers because I don't want to go back. Do you even know the meaning of divorce? It means two people stop being husband and wife and become complete strangers. Therefore, it means I have no moral imperative to clean or cook for you. Is that clear enough for you? Huh? Why? You're my wife! A wife has an obligation to her husband! Cleaning and cooking are part of that! You married me because you love me, right? When you become a bride, my wife, it's obvious that you clean and cook for him! You do love me, don't you? Okay, let's lay it out loud and clear. So, it gets through that bird brain of yours. I do not love Brian any longer. I hate that guy. I have decided to quit being his wife. I will no longer clean and cook for him. And I will not be returning, ever. I will do zero for this guy, even if he asked. I will also no longer meet or talk to Brian ever again. Was that clear enough for you? Do you want me to use all caps? How? Why? How could you say that? How could you say you want to quit? You're crazy! You're the guy who has the room reserved at the mental institute. A disgraceful guy like you. A guy who has an affair with a girl half his age. 
Who wouldn't despise a guy like that? I have no time or energy to waste with a low life like you. Then, if you're gone, who's gonna do all the cooking and cleaning? At this rate, the house is gonna get worse? That has nothing to do with me. We're divorced, complete strangers. Do it yourself for a change. Oh yeah, get your young girlfriend to do it. I split up with her two weeks ago. She said she no longer wanted to live in such a pigsty. It's all your fault! Huh? Which part of what you just said is my fault? Was it the part where the ex-wife didn't do the house cleaning so your girlfriend would be happy? That part? And do you think your girlfriend would want to live in a house where the ex-wife cooks and cleans? If she did, she needs to be institutionalized too. Please shut up! Why the hell did you submit those divorce papers? Nobody in their right mind would submit those papers! Hmm, let me think. Not. You have a fling with a young girl, and then send me divorce papers. Seems obvious. A lot easier than me dragging it out forever. What? Why don't things go my way? Give me a break, FFS! Why did you even think that things would go your way? That's what I can't understand. Really bizarre if you ask me. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Waiting for the divorce settlements to come through. Monthly could definitely use it. If you don't play, it comes out of your monthly salary. The courts decided. If that happens, well, the company will find out all about your infidelity. Would not look very good. Why? I said I split up with that girl! Why do we have to pay this divorce settlement? Well, you were having an affair while we were together, so, you know. Just because you broke off with her recently, that just won't fly. So, waiting for that first payment. See ya. Hey, wait a second! We can't just break up like this! We should talk it out more! After all, we are husband and wife! No, we're not. Get it through your head, Brian. Holy crap! Okay, then. Goodbye! Wait, Carol! Don't! Carol! After that conversation, he kept trying to contact me. Practically every day. But I mentioned the word stalker, and he toned down his rhetoric a bit. One time, he came barging into my parents' place screaming and yelling, but my dad quickly put him in his place and shooed him away. He eventually left with his tail between his legs. <laughs> I heard that even to this day, his house is a complete mess, a total pigsty. He is apparently eating fast food every day and gained considerable weight. On top of that, his place is such a mess he's not even bothering to take showers. I hear that neighbors are even complaining about the garbage and smell coming from his place. It's only a matter of time before the cops show up. Well, as long as I get the divorce settlement, I really don't give a damn. Carrie, I'm sorry for messaging you so late. Are you okay to talk now? Good evening, Liberty. It's no problem. Is something wrong? There was talk about the upcoming local mom's party. I was thinking of getting in touch in the daytime, but I thought you must be working around that time. Thank you for being considerate. Yeah, you and Russell both have work, so don't worry. So, about the mom's party, we're getting together on this Saturday. We decided to hold it at the local church. You can come if it's Saturday, right, Carrie? Sorry. Right now I'm busy with work, and I'm going to work this Saturday as well. Really? You mean you can't come? No, I can't. I'm sorry, but thanks for inviting me. This time, double-income moms like Shania will be coming too. I wonder if you might be able to take some time off. It's a great opportunity for you to join. I wish I could, but sorry, I can't. I see. 
Well, that's a shame. But you'll be there for the children's festival next week, right? Russell came to the festival meeting instead of you. You will be coming on the day, right? Actually, I've got an important meeting on that day. You can't come to the festival either. I can go if my meeting is finished early. I don't think I can go at the start. Well, maybe this is unwarranted advice coming from a stay-at-home mom like me, but... I think it's better to take care of your daughter a little more. Faye has just started elementary school, right? Aren't you relying on your husband a little too much? Maybe? Russell does work from home, but he does do a lot of the housework and parenting. After all, children need time to interact with their mothers. You're both working, and your husband earns pretty good money, right? I think it'd be better for you to have a part-time job. I personally like my current job, so I have no intention of quitting. Of course, I can understand what you're saying. But you and I have our own lives. Right. Oh, I guess I was too pushy. But you don't take part in the local mom's meetings. And you don't join children's events. I just feel sorry for Faye. Well, thank you for your concern. I think you've given me a lot to think about, Liberty. I'm glad I could help. I know Russell works from home, but he's also working. Don't burden him too much. Even I... A full-time stay-at-home mom sometimes gets sick of raising children. You're right. I should also think about Russell. Yeah, you should. Some of the other moms also assume you're just a selfish workaholic. If you don't want to have these weird rumors floating around, be a little more motherly. I didn't know about these rumors. Okay, I'll be careful. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I covered for you when I heard these rumors. Thank you, Liberty. What would I do without you? You're welcome. When we're in trouble, we help each other, right? Well, I'm going to bed. Okay, good night. I know it's late, so thanks. Russell, you're getting ready for the children's party, right? That's right. It's from 2 o'clock. Hey, I was just wondering, am I really relying on you too much? What's going on? You know Liberty on the same floor? She gave me some advice. I've always been declining going to the mom's meetings and children's events. And when I told her that I wasn't going to this festival, she said I should think about Faye more. Isn't Liberty kind of like the neighborhood matriarch? <laughs> I know you're just trying to make me feel better by joking about this, but I came to think I've really been relying on you too much lately. I don't really think so. I work from home. But it's like half the workload you have, Carrie. Faye doesn't need a lot of attention now that she's six. Really? Yes. You're busy right now, but considering that, I think you do your share of housework and parenting too. Right. Then I'm a little relieved. I mean, working from home can make you a little reclusive. I'm glad I can get out to go to Faye's events. Don't worry about it, because this way of doing things suits us both. Okay, thanks. And I think Faye feels loved by you, too. You made a dress for her to wear for the festival, even though you're busy. She seemed happy, and she thanked you, so it should be okay. You're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was a little down for the first time in a while. You're so ruthless at work, though. <laughs> Of course, I was given advice about my family. It's not just a me problem. Well, let them say whatever they want. Anyway, once children grow up beyond elementary school, their moms stop gathering at children's events. All right. 
I'm feeling better now. So I'll finish everything quickly at work today. And then I'll have the dinner you made with the whole family. You're pretty busy at work, so don't overexert yourself. But I'll make something a little fancy tonight. Thank you. Russell, you'd better prepare for the party tonight. Yup, leave it to me. I'm sorry, Liberty. I'm at work, so I'll call you back later. Carrie! Faye is in trouble! What? She fell off the balcony! She did? No, no, that can't be right. Today is festival day, so that's where I thought she'd be. She went home once because she was tired. At that time, I just went home to pick up something, and I saw it. So I went to the hospital in the ambulance with Russell. She's at Townsend Hospital, so you'd better get there quick. Oh, no way, because Faye should be with Russell. It's not a lie. Oh, Russell was so upset that I thought he couldn't even pick up the phone to call you. But I was right. You hadn't heard it yet. Is Faye all right? I don't know. But she was breathing. Oh, you really need to hurry to the hospital. Russell! What are you doing? How's Faye? Weren't you watching her? Is Faye all right? Get back to me right away when you see. I'm driving there now. I'll arrive in about 15 minutes. Mommy, it's Faye. I'm eating ice cream with Daddy. What? Faye? Yes. What happened, Mommy? What? Faye, are you okay? I'm okay. Daddy is in trouble. What's wrong with Daddy? Daddy dropped ice cream on his clothes and he's wiping it up now. He told me to keep this secret. I told you because keeping secrets is bad. Well, thanks for telling me that. Faye, can you give your phone to Daddy? Yeah. Wow, Faye has already blabbed you, Carrie. I dropped the ice cream because some kid bumped into me. It wasn't my fault. Well, that's fine with me. But Faye is safe, right? What? Yeah. Why? What's wrong? Did you see my messages? I'm sorry. I let Faye play games on my phone, so I didn't see them. Wait a minute. Huh? What does this mean? What's all this about if Faye is all right? And you go to the hospital? Were you mad for some reason? Liberty told me that Faye fell from the balcony. She said she was taken to Townsend Hospital. What? What is she talking about? Faye was with me this whole time. A kid ran into me at the festival, so we went home to change clothes. And I wouldn't ever let Faye go to the balcony by herself. Well then, it was a lie. That's good. No, it's still not good. Carrie, what about work? Didn't you leave? Oh, yeah. Didn't you have an important meeting with a client today? Was it okay? It, it was fine because I had just finished. I'm going home now anyway. Got it. But what is Liberty thinking? She can't just lie about this stuff. Oh, I'm so mad. I know, right? But why did she tell those lies? She had to know that it would be easily found out. And today is the festival, right? Liberty was there, wasn't she? Oh yeah, Liberty said she couldn't come because she had something urgent. Is that so? Yes, and I... Oh, there's something I didn't tell you, Carrie. What is it? I'm sorry, but Liberty recently contacted me personally. Huh? What do you mean personally? As in she just texted you? She said she wants to meet with me to discuss her problems. She asked me to visit her house. Wow, what? Why didn't you tell me before? Well, I had no intention of going. When I was thinking of telling you, you were down because she said some stuff to you about Faye. But you mean Liberty invited you alone into her house? 
That's way out of line. At first I thought it was just a thing between stay-at-home parents. Still, I thought it would be better if I didn't see her alone, so I refused all of her invitations. I could show you all the messages later. And I was ignoring it because I felt awkward. Well, fine. But if that happens next time, talk to me right away. Yeah, I'm sorry. But why would she follow that up with lying about Faye falling off the balcony? I texted Liberty, but she's left me on unread. Seriously, what is with her? Let's talk about what we're going to do after you get home. She's our neighbor, so we'll see her around. Oh, I can't believe she would tell such an awful lie. I agree. I'm sorry I got so emotional. Anyone would be. We should get her to apologize for that. Hey, what did you do? Liberty, good morning. You finally responded. Fabian handed me divorce papers. Oh, I bet it's your fault. My fault? I think it's your own fault, Liberty. You and I just had a regular quarrel. But Fabian suddenly said we should get divorced. He said we can't stay together if I'm harassing the neighbors. I bet you told him about yesterday. I told him, of course, because I was told such an awful lie. Besides, you also got in touch with my husband about meeting him alone? What on earth were you thinking? It's okay because I didn't see him in the end. Or did I commit a crime that would get me caught by the police? Why are you so angry? I just lied a little. You didn't do anything illegal, but you did the worst thing as a person. Anyone would be upset hearing that their child fell from the balcony. I came back from work in a hurry. Did you make it to the meeting? It was fine because I just got out of it. Then I should have messaged you sooner. I thought that you'd be fired. What? You said it was an important meeting. It might have been possible if I made you leave the meeting. So that's what you wanted? Then were you flirting with my husband because you wanted to get to me? Stop saying that I tried to hit on him. I just wanted to discuss some problems. Russell is the stay-at-home parent in your house, right? If you think of it as two mom friends, it's normal to meet up. I think it's different for a man and a woman to meet alone in the middle of the night. But we didn't actually meet in the end. Why are you so upset over something that didn't even happen? As I said earlier, I didn't do anything wrong. You really upset us. What would you think if I told you that your son fell and had an accident? Wouldn't you feel upset, anxious, sad, angry? And wouldn't it make you mad if another woman invited your husband to meet alone? Well, I don't know, because it's never happened to me. <laughs> and I don't care if Fabian starts seeing another woman elsewhere. It's okay, as long as he gives me all the money I want. <laughs> You're crazy. That's how it is, normally. Most stay-at-home moms don't care what their husbands do. And what you did to my husband is way worse than what I did. How? He said he wants to divorce because of what you told him. Even though Fabian and I don't get along, we could raise our children as long as we had money. You're trying to break us up and our children will suffer for it. You're trying to destroy my children's life. This is your fault, Liberty. Can you stop blaming other people? But in reality, isn't what I'm saying true? We're about to divorce now, so you should have thought more before acting. Don't you feel sorry for my children? Well, you should tell Fabian that it was all a misunderstanding. Do you get it now? Go fix this. I can't do that. Anyway, Fabian was already thinking about divorcing you. He said that you made him do all the housework and parenting? He said that? 
He told you all that? Yeah, I heard everything. So I plan to show him all these texts between us two. It's proof that you don't see him as anything other than your wallet. Stop it. You're kidding, right? Why are you getting involved in our marriage? I'll do it. Unlike you, I don't lie. You're the one who started mistreating me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being a nuisance to you and your family. So please, don't tell Fabian. Russell and I both want to help Fabian. You even went out on your son's birthday to go eat with your friends, didn't you? Before you give me advice on how to raise my child, maybe you should start actually raising yours first. You've got it wrong. I said all that to you because I was jealous. You have a good career and a kind husband. It was everything I wanted. So ideal. You've got all the things I don't have. So I got carried away. Carried away? All the inappropriate behavior you took was just you getting carried away? Your ideal married life isn't just going to fall into your lap. You both need to work together to create it. I know, but I can't live a life like yours. You wouldn't understand. You can do everything. I'm not a perfect human being either. I work together with my husband and we cover each other's weaknesses. So don't make it someone else's fault. You need to face this. How will I live if Fabian divorces me? That depends on how hard you're willing to work, Liberty. You ruined my life. So you should think of what I should do next. Why is it all up to me? You're the one who deserved to be miserable. You still don't understand after all that. No, I don't understand. Why do I have to be treated this way? Just because I lied once? You lied about Faye falling down. But it's you who's fallen. Karma's come back to bite you. You should have a long think about what you've done. After that, Liberty and Fabian decided to live separately, for their children's sake. Part of the conditions Fabian set while living apart was that Liberty would work part-time. He said that if she made an effort to pay the extra living costs from living apart, that they could get back together. But Liberty didn't change. So, Fabian divorced her in the end. Because she didn't do any housework or parenting, Fabian got sole custody of the children. It seemed like it was the final nail in the coffin for Liberty when her little son said he wanted to live with his father. I had to deal with one nightmare of a fellow local mom. But maybe Liberty herself was suffering a lot inside. Still, I haven't forgiven her for lying about Faye falling or trying to lure Russell in like that. It was as Liberty said, that none of what she did was legal. But anyone would feel this way if someone did this to them. It's not as if we really did anything, but we're glad that Liberty isn't around in our lives anymore. Nowadays, I don't get pesky invitations to local mom's events, so I live peacefully with my neighbors. Some of the other local moms told me that the number of events was a little too much for them. Those events were probably where Liberty felt the most at home. Socializing with others is important. But I think I should prioritize my family the most from now on. I'm sure we'll have problems with parenting and our marriage. But I'd like to cooperate with my husband and work through them together.